everyone, I'm Hirni Dairikram from Leo Club of University of Colombo and welcome to the 14th episode of Detect and Correct, which is a series of discussion conducted by Leo Club of University of Colombo, which talks about debatable and crucial topics in the society. So um, as you all know by now, we are linking two platforms, that is YouTube and our official newsletter, um, which is in written form, which helps and make this discussion series easily accessible for you. And with that, today we are going to talk about manage your time to get rid of stress. And to talk in depth of this topic, we have invited and we are collaborating with senior lawyer, Mr. R. Manivanan. Sir, good evening. And good evening. before going to the discussion, I would like to invite you, sir, to briefly introduce yourself. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me for this uh, Zoom meeting and the Leo Club. I am uh, Rajasekaran Manivannan, uh, born in Matale. Uh, my pri primary studies was uh, uh, done at Rathota, uh, rural town from Matale, six kilometers away. After grade five scholarship, I came to Matale and joined Zaira for my secondary education. And after that, I joined the law college in uh, 1998, uh, 1995, sorry, and uh, took my oath in 1998 and uh, under the Supreme Court of Sri Lanka and uh, I'm basically now uh, focusing on uh, civil work and convincing. I am in the panels of most of the merchant banks like um, uh, International Bank, DFCC, Pan Asia, Amana, Merchant Bank of Sri Lanka and I'm uh, serving as a legal consultant for most of the banks. And I'm married, and my wife is Krishanti, two sons, Arshit and Amrit. And that's it about me. And basically, I'm based in Matale. Thank you. Amazing, sir. I'm really happy. And we are looking forward to learn so many things from you about this topic. And with that, um, let me come to my first question that I want to ask from you. That is, um, now, as we all know, stress is uh, our body's reaction to pressure and it's a it's, it's for the pressure for a certain situation or an event and it can be physical it can be mental or emotional reactions so what is the source of stress and what is the reason for this could you explain for us sir yes uh, now uh, when you see uh, the human body is a body which has been inbuilt for all the response and the actions uh, for a situation when it comes to the body, all the signals uh, pass from the brain. So every action the brain coordinates and through the CNS, that is central neurosystem, from the brain, the signals are passed to the organs and the body to react from the action. Now, for instance, uh, if you presume that you are got struck with a traffic congestion and uh, you are to meet uh, in an important meeting and the time is ticking up, then automatically your brain started to make an order to pass signals through the CNS, that is called central neurosystem. When the time is ticking up, uh, the brain uh, through the uh, hypothetical sense, it passes, it orders to pass the stress hormones to the all part of the body by which uh, uh, it continues and gives the signals to react and do certain acts by which the body try to act on that but uh, in way uh, the stress is one way it is good for the body where uh, it gives protection in an emergency situation the problem arises when it continuously the stress is firing that can uh, hazard to the health and it could cause us to the causes damage to the body and other organs when it continuously day by day it uh, uh, continues that is simply known as stress uh, generally you can't touch and feel but uh, these are the these are the source and where it starts as a stress okay uh, thank you sir for that you know, very explanatory answer. I hope that our viewers will surely know what's the reason for our stress now. 
and also that uh, you said that uh, it affects for our body so that brings me to my second question that i want to ask from you that is uh, stress affect various part of the human body in different ways so what is the impact of stress on our health actually there are many impacts you know as i said earlier uh, when the stress hormones are generated uh, it goes through the nervous system for the necessary part of the body now uh, the nervous system and the uh, hypothalamus that hormones after the body's action it should withdraw once the act is over the 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 that hormone should withdraw and it come back to the normal place then the brain will have to make an order to withdraw the hormones and come back to the normal state if it doesn't happen only it continuously the pressure will rise as up the blood blood pressure will go up and uh, the diabetic system the sugar will go up sugar level will go up and our liver will try to produce more glucose and that will uh, cause us the damage to the liver so the problem will be affect all over the organs when it doesn't withdraw and continuously firing up so uh, that causes many damage to the body and also there can be three types of uh, damages can cause to the body due to the stress uh, one is uh, mental damages and secondly natural damages and uh, thirdly it is bodily injuries like like uh, uh, it can like uh, di- that diarrhea sort of things can happen and if it is mental like you get some uh, ionical ionical chronic which feels like hunger and uh, too much of uh, uh, fasting like it can happen due to that mental sickness okay okay uh all right so now it, it surely affects us and our our body and that brings me to ask the next next question that i want to ask uh because we want to find a way to relieve our stress and find a solution so that is the question that i want to ask uh that time management is the key that it, as everyone knows although it seems hectic um as long as we manage our time properly we can get everything done um so I want to ask, what is time management and why it is important? Again, yes, uh, I, I rather I would have preferred uh, you could have made the heading rather than time management. Actually, my uh, wish is it should be uh, self management because uh, time uh, time is the usual thing. It is for everybody. A uh, day is designated as twenty four hours, so it is for you twenty four hours, and for me it's twenty four hours. for the president it is 24 hours it's a, for a genius and whoever it is everybody the time factor is 24 hours so i prefer rather than uh, saying that a time to be managed i feel that we have to be managed by ourselves and we have to be self managed now uh, as far as uh, the management is concerned now everybody's complaint is that uh, we don't have enough time to complete our task and goals but uh, that is not the case because there were many genius many detectives and discovered and inventors all they have managed to uh, discover invent and innovate everything within the 24 hours so saying 24 hours is not sufficient and there is no time it cannot be a accepted principle uh, what i would say is that uh, we should try to um, uh, manage ourselves to bring the task within the time frame what we have been given and as designated for that we must uh, have a scheduled scheduled program and a pre planned arrangement to do everything uh, if you allow me i can give an example because these are the things uh, you have to go with the examples and identify what are the things to be because it differs from person to person and uh, they uh, they utilize the time according to their body condition and the environment where they live and how they are brought up so if i give an example now uh, there had been a uh, in a campus a professor as uh, call for the children 
and he had brought a big vessel filled with water and he has asked the students uh, how many like the uh, golf balls can be filled with the entire j- uh, jar then uh, the students have brought many uh, golf balls and they have filled it the entire uh, vessel and it was covered with the uh, uh, golf balls then the professor was asking the children uh, is this the maximum you can put or any anything can be filled with then all the students are replying no sir this is the maximum you can't uh, fill anything because it is full now then the professor said no and he put some uh, pebbles like small pebbles he put and add those pebbles and all the pebbles went inside in between the spaces allocated and it was filled with the pebbles then again the professor was questioning the student uh, children whether any any other thing could be added in this or is it full then the same reply came the children said no sir it is full now cannot be done anything then the professor again took a, took some sand and he added to that then the sand went inside the small minute places and it filled with the rest of the areas then again the professor asked is this all or can be filled with anything else then again the children said no that is all sir there is no space to in then he took some coffee powder and added to the vessel then the coffee powder was filled with the water and liquid and the color was changed so the professor was telling that we we'll have to see we should not limit ourselves and it had to be see what tells we could put so that is why i say now the planning and the arrangement has to be go in a proper manner now if you see if without uh, putting the balls first if you had filled with the sand initially there is no way to put the balls or the pebbles or the sand again the, the uh, coffee again so we have to plan in such a way where the act and the things can be done in a proper manner so for that we have to schedule the program in a correct manner so if you try to do that you can reduce the time factor and get your goal and get the task completed and also the secondly what i would to say always try to pre plan so if there is any thing to be done on the next day you have to be very uh, planned and you have to list it out and you will have to prior to prioritize what are the things i should do first and what are the things i should give priority so you can list it out and you can select which one i should do and which one is most important to be completed and also you have to assess the time thirdly you have to assess the time and you have to think how much of time i am going to allocate for this because when you try to do something you don't know how many minutes and how many hours you are going to spend on that now there are researchers says that uh, averagely a person spends about 2 to 3 hours a day for the traveling so for a week he spends about uh, like uh, 21 hours a week for a year it multiplies and uh, an american research says a person averagely spends about 2 days per year to find the loosened items misplaced items so when you calculate it in his lifetime he is spending so much of time for these kind of things so gradually this makes a person to generate his stress level which causes a hazard and injuries to his self so that is what my feel that everything to be listed and give the priority rise so that we can uh, control our time limit and the time factors and we can manage as it is amazing sir and again thank you for that uh, amazing answer which is full of examples practical examples and um, so it's uh, priority and properly planning everything includes in that fun and as i said it's self management 
um and again uh, then i would like to come to the next question that i want to ask i think you kind of gave the answer for this question in your uh, previous answer also but i want to get a more detailed answer so uh, the question is that um here it says that according to william james um the greatest weapon against the stress is our ability to choose one thought over the another so it's basically priority i guess and i want to know what is the link between time management and stress management or i would rephrase this one what is the link between self management and the stress management now again as i said earlier now that also come in as a one one link like uh, the time management and the stress management are interconnected to each other now uh, when I, as i said uh, now when you do select a thing now what the thing you are going to do uh, we will have to see which is important and which is urgent now there's a book called steven and um, steven and covey has written a book first thing first yes categorically is identified now you must identify uh, uh, what is urgent and what is important there are four things we'll have to keep it in mind now uh, in important and urgent when you concern important and urgent now uh, that you have to anyway do you have to complete the task because important and urgency both are come together and urgency also has to be considered and the important sees there so we we'll have to some or other finish that task as the priority so that is how we calculate the priority there is another instance where importance is there but it is not urgent importance is there but can be done even tomorrow or in a week or a month but what we have to think is whether the urgency is there or not when the time permits you have to complete that since it seems to be an important thirdly it is urgent but not important so when you take in a day if that is the case if it is not important whatever the urgency may be we don't have to do since since the uh, since it is not important however the agency urgency may be it is not to be considered to give the priority on that fourthly it is not urgent and not important also so that you don't have to anyway consider so these principles to be identified and we'll have to apply in our life to day to day lifestyle then we can manage to save more time and give the rest of the time for the other works which have we are compelled to do so when you categorize this or gradually you have enough time to uh, relax have your meals spend the uh, uh, time with the friends all the other things so gradually the the stress also can be managed with the uh, uh, other activities but we can for the balance time okay sir um i think it's really helpful for us uh, for undergraduates uh to have this kind of uh, to get to know about these principles um all right and now i want to ask the very last question from you sir and i think um uh, for this one also you i uh, kind of over gave the answer but uh, i want to ask this one that is um now if you want to reduce your stress you have to keep in mind that the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule but to schedule your priorities as you said sir so what is the importance of time and stress management how can we manage our time to reduce stress yes. now uh, the management part now uh, that's what i say now when you try to do certain things first of all we must assess the time how much of time we are going to allocate for instance if you take a book to be read and completed if you feel that only uh, 30 minutes time you can finish it up you have to you have to learn to finish that by 30 minutes most of us what we do is we read it for some time and we keep it and close and do other work and come back again and read some more thing and again close it and do other things and come so by the time the task you taken 30 minutes it sends in about 2 and 1/2 hour to 3 hours to complete that so you are you are taking your precious time 
uh, in for different works and uh, ultimately what you thought cannot be done now uh, there is a say mostly everyone says that time is gold but i say time is not gold time is more precious than the gold because gold can be purchased by paying money but time once you gone you can't buy the time you would have seen most of the places like uh, the temples most churches are built very rising cobrams like in the top to the reach the reason is those those places are been treated as the precious places that is the why most of the clock towers have been kept in the junctions and uh, in the special places on the top of the place because time has been considered as a very precious more than the value of gold so once time is gone you can't buy the time and you can't catch the time so what i feel is that uh, we we'll have to assess the time and we we'll have to try to learn to complete the task within that time and uh, secondly i would say you must learn to say no also most of us uh, do that uh, we don't say no we try to accommodate we try to please everyone but uh, by that uh, you are you are you are you are what you are doing is that you are causing in danger to your life itself because every time every time you are trying to please the others you are compelled to with all the difficulties you are trying to do and finish that so it is always you must learn you should not fear to say no that if you say that uh, that you can't do this say frankly no so by that also you can gain some time and you can manage with that and also when you do certain things don't uh, get uh, distracted with the other activities when you when you do a uh, reading or when you are uh, writing a book and if you painting just complete that don't uh, don't distract with other environmental things so that you can manage the time and do the rest of the okay sir um amazing and uh, so we learned today what's the source of our stress and what's the effect of it and how the self management helps us to get over of it and also uh, to keep in track and uh, you know determine if we determine certain thing do that one and allocate time for certain things have a schedule with priorities and everything uh, so uh, that brings us to the end of this discussion and as uh, sir said uh, time is more precious than gold um and we'll keep that in mind and so we are concluding our session uh, discussion on manage your time to get rid of stress and thank you sir uh, thank you thank so you much, much um for joining us and giving us the opportunity to conduct this session uh, despite your busy schedule and we really appreciate it and thank you again I also thank you very much for inviting me and have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we hope that you have gained good knowledge on knowledge and people management and teamwork which will definitely be an asset to your youth as well as for your future career. So till we meet in another interesting discussion from Detect and Correct. Stay safe and goodbye.